This is Pioneer's TSWX-010A, compact, self-powered subwoofer. The TSWX-010A is designed for use in electric and hybrid electric vehicles. Its built-in Class D amplifier is high efficiency with very low power consumption. And its compact design delivers meaningful bass from an amazingly light and compact enclosure. Let's take a look and see what's in the box. All right, let's uh, pop this thing open here. First thing we get is the owner's manual. There's the owner's manual and there is the warranty card. All right, let's pull up the uh, hardware pack out of there. Here's the hardware pack and inside the hardware pack we have a couple of different things. Uh, first is the wire harness and I'll give you a, a more careful look at the wire harness here a little bit later in the video, but this is your power, ground and uh, signal connection. And then we have some mounting hardware included in here, some heavy metal mounting brackets and uh, carpeting mounting brackets for uh, mounting the subwoofer in your vehicle. And let's, uh, let's dump this out of here. And there is TSWX-010A. The TSWX-010A is designed for small EV or 100% electric vehicles and for small combustion engine and electric hybrid vehicles. To achieve the goal of operation in EV and hybrid vehicles, there are three design concepts employed to develop the Pioneer TSWX-010A. The first is high energy efficiency. The Pioneer TSWX-010A has a built-in Class D amplifier. The amp delivers 50 watts of nominal and 160 watts of peak power with a maximum current consumption of just 4.2 amps at 12 volts. The second goal is to deliver meaningful bass with its built-in amplifier and speaker. The oval-shaped speaker measures 17 centimeters or 6 and 5 eighths inches by 8 centimeters or 3 and an eighth inches. The speaker is built into a factory optimized enclosure designed to deliver great bass from a very small enclosure. The third goal is making a product that is extremely compact and yet still delivers meaningful bass with high energy efficiency. The TSWX-010A is a tiny bass sound creator. The enclosure measures just 23 centimeters or nine inches by 20 centimeters or four and five eighths by just seven centimeters or two and three quarter inches high. That's less than half the size of the next smallest Pioneer subwoofer. In addition, the amount of weight you drive around with affects the cruising range of your EV. Less weight is better, and the Pioneer TSWX-010A weighs in at only three pounds, 12 ounces, or about 1.7 kilograms. The TSWX-010A is designed for electric and hybrid vehicles, very small battery operated vehicles, and it works great in that type of vehicle. If you, however, drive a larger vehicle in a gasoline powered vehicle where electricity and weight aren't that big of an issue, this might not be the best subwoofer solution for your vehicle. Pioneer offers many options to deliver huge bass from conventional full depth subwoofers that work best in a traditional large enclosure to shallow mount subwoofers, to dual 12 inch self-powered subwoofers in a ported enclosure. If you're looking for big base and you have the room in your vehicle to use it, one of these may be a better option for your particular vehicle. However, if you drive a small EV or hybrid vehicle and you'd like to add some bottom into your audio system, the TSWX-010A may be exactly what you've been looking for. The TSWX-010A has RCA and speaker level inputs to connect to your existing audio system. Here is a close-up shot of the control panel on the bottom of the product. Here is the phase switch. Be sure to test both normal and reverse phase settings. One of these settings may sound significantly better than the other in your particular vehicle. Here is the crossover frequency selector. Only frequencies below the selected setting are played by the system. I recommend to start here at about 80 Hz. Next is the gain control. This is used to balance the output from the in-dash receiver to the input of the system's amplifier. If you're hearing distortion from the system, try rolling back the gain control a little bit. Here is the input selector switch. 
If you're using direct low-level inputs from an in-dash receiver, choose the RCA setting. If you're using speaker-level inputs, be sure to choose SP line. And finally, the power and ground and signal input wire harness connects here. Here is a close-up look at the wire harness for the TSWX010A. The yellow wire is for constant power, and the black wire is for ground. There is a 10 amp fuse on the yellow wire. The RCA inputs are here. If you're using speaker level inputs, simply cut off the RCA connections and use these same positive and negative wire connections for your speaker connections. The blue wire switches the TSWX010A on and off with your vehicle. The blue wire can connect to the blue wire with the white stripe on the back of your Pioneer in-dash receiver or to an accessory switched lead in the vehicle's fuse panel. Many EVs have little or no room for a subwoofer under the front seat or rear seats of the vehicle because that space is already taken up by the batteries that operate the vehicle. If you can't put a subwoofer under that seat, where do you install it? The Pioneer TSWX010A is a downfiring system and is designed to be installed on the passenger seat footwell. The built-in grille protects the woofer cone from dirt and debris. It can be installed vertically or horizontally. The enclosure is strong and impact resistant and can stand up to the normal dings and scuffs you'd expect being on the floor of a vehicle. Don't ever install this product near the driver's seat area or anywhere where it may interfere with the safe operation of the vehicle. And that is Pioneer's self-powered subwoofer for electric and hybrid vehicles, the TSWX010A, and what's in the box.